Участников боя в полулегком весе. Синий угол. Бойцу 32 года. Рост 170 сантиметров. Вес 66 килограммов 250 граммов. Профессиональный рекорд. 33 боя. 23 победы. 9 поражений и одна ничья. Палач из Бразилии. Элисмар Караско Лима. Красный угол. Бойцу 28 лет, рост 172 сантиметра, вес 66 килограммов, 100 граммов. Профессиональный рекорд, 19 боев, 15 побед при всего лишь 4 поражениях. Из Таджикистана Душанбе Бехрус Онгбак Зугуров. Рефери боя Максим Протасов. So Максим Протасов will take charge of... This featherweight contest, we look at the tail of the tape there. Slight height and reach advantage for Bekruz Zukurov. More experience on the side of the Brazilian Elismir Lima. Bekruz Zukurov in the red corner, taking on Lima in the blue. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett here in Moscow, calling the action for ACA 129. This one definitely has the ingredients to be an absolute barn burner. And it's one of those, if you watch Ellis Mears fights back in just in ACA, he's kind of struggled to find his form. But you look back at his record, and you look back at some of the other fights and other promotions where he's claimed belts before. 17 of his 23 wins by the by finish. 13 knockouts, four submissions. Very, very hard hitter. Yeah, the thing with Lima, he needs an opponent that he doesn't need to find hard to find. He needs someone who's going to stand there in front of him a little bit more. You know, like, well, he's always had problems and people had that sort of movement. Oh, right, oh, 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 he is on the inside. Nice sweeping low kick there, took the base away from Ellis Mayer. Oh, slipped and then dropped that right hand over the top. Lima took it well, though. We saw it in the back, Marta, by the Lima. Lima took a lot, lot of shots and kept them marching forward like he, like he got it doing right now. Very clean hands, and they've always been impressed with his boxing here for MMA. Oh, look at the shots that Bet Cruz is picking. We saw that in his last fight as well, really mixes it up well. That's the biggest doing a great job, but they like say by mixing things up, not the same combination back and forth. Where Lima is very textbook, very same sort of combination, very stiff one, two, stiff kicks. Oh, solid jab to the body as well there from Bakruz. Oof. <laughs> Snapping lead kick, then a teep to the thigh. I mean, that's one of the best weapons. He's a lead kick. He picks up all the time, very hard and fast. Oh, big shots, mixing it to the body now as well. Again, working that lead leg. Yeah, you can know, tell it's the course, having a lot of fun in there. Oh, solid body shot, though, from Lima as well. We're having a lot of fun watching this fight unfold. Again, mixes it to the body, solid stepping left hook to the liver there from Zukorov. Oh, straight left. Zukorov showing very good head movement as well as, as he comes into range. He knows how laser like it's sharp uh, Lima's shots are. Yeah, stays off angle, tries to stay out of that range, but Lima now, now trying to make his own impression in this fight. So Kor kind of came in at one on the way in. Lima now get a bit more aggressive. I mean, we're talking about the power in some of these shots, but the technique as well, Brad, behind him. And as I say that, look at the technique and changing that level and going for the takedown. Yeah, it's very clever work there. Good hips here by Lima being shown, but that's very good by Zakor, because now Lima's got something else to worry about. 
Oh, look at that movement. And I was lucky enough to be at the Amateur World Championships in Tajikistan, sorry, European Championships in Kazan. Tajikistan sent their first team and they claimed two gold medals. They're starting to really put some infrastructure behind their, uh, their athletes, behind their grassroots programs over there. And that's a scary thing to think about when you think of the techniques that's coming out and some of the fights that already exist from that very small region of uh, Tajikistan. What surprised me more is Lima went for a takedown himself. Very rare thing for me, he never normally goes for a takedown, but again, he's showing that he's evolving. He, he knows that coming over to ACA, how well rounded these fires are. He's, oh. he's got to be careful with these up kicks. He's had a couple of. That's the thing with Lima, you've got to learn how to evolve over here in, in this uh, ACA roster. The people are so well rounded. Oh, nice little. Jump back to his feet for Zakura. And round one has been an absolute treat. Really solid stuff from both of these. You've got to say the cleaner work coming from Zakurov. But Lima just eats everything. He ate big head kicks there, Brad. I think it was, I mean, the, in my honest opinion, the cleaner work was by Lima, but it was the volume and the output of combinations by, by Zakurov and, and variations of attacks. So it was very impressive. But uh, the clean, stiff shots were definitely by Lima. He landed a few good stiff jabs and a few good crosses. This is that little brief takedown he managed to get. Oof. There's Good job that lad off the chest and not the yeah, chin. Yeah, but they and still got to hurt. My goodness, that heel coming down right on that sternum. Barely looks like he's broken a sweat lemur as well. Great conditioning. So we're set for round two. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. We saw it in Zakorov's last fight. He managed to up it an extra gear. In round number two, let's see if we can do anything like that in this fight. Oh. Oh. Cheeky little number there from Lima. Yeah, I, I don't think he actually managed because he kind of paused for a second when he knew those two shots landed. Off the side that, but he's the one that's looking to up the pace himself. How will Zakorov respond? Oh, these are starting to connect, Brad. He's actually trying to mix these shot, shots up a little bit there. He came up with a good little screw. Uppercut as well, we landed. Now we're getting a response from Zakurov. Oh, nice right hand from Lima. And blood coming from the nose of Lima now. Now the damage from Zakurov. Now the damage from Lima starting to add up. Yeah, like I said, he's going back to like cleaner sort of shots. Now they're starting to land. Good shots here by Zakurov. Don't know if that's a little bit off balance as well as he got punched, but look at that. Oh, he's jumped him. The right hand. Lima looking for the finish in round two. That is it, man. It was a perfect clean strike. Just kind of chipped away at him. And eventually, you know, a stiff shot that was going to drop him. I think Lima thought that might have been enough. He kind of walked, walked him down. Yeah, but yeah. Zakurov back to his feet. We talked about Zakurov coming out with all pressure. Lima has come out fully intending to take the momentum of this fight. This is the thing, is that Lima has been taking some really, really big shots, and he's still there. Testament to his chin. And look at you to see, you just see the, the, the damage. The welt under the left eye is filling up quick as well there, Brad. You got the bleeding nose there of Zakurov. Damage under the left eye. Oh, nice right. <laughs> left hand there from Zakurov. Here he comes. This. This, this is such a fun fight. Really good takedown defense by here by Lima as well. That's two shots yeah, it's stuffed in this round. That's really going to pay toll on the mind as well as the core. He's visibly, he's visibly damaged on the feet. He was rocked early with our stiff right. We haven't got a clean look at that left eye yet, brother, and it certainly is carrying some damage underneath it. But he's carried that over from round one. It was the end of round one that I started to see a little bit of damage in the eye, but some of these stiff shots now, that, that right hand has been landed. Yeah, look, that's filling up now, that hematoma underneath the left eye. That's a, that's a clean right hand, uh, straight right from Lima that's been landed. 
Neymar looking strong against the cage. Little punch to the thigh there, the inside of the thigh. We and talk, again, we talked about Shakur maybe opening a gear within the second round, but it's been Lima that's managed to do so. Two minutes, five seconds left in round number two. What a frantic pace. What an opening three minutes from the Brazilian Lima. Question now is Can Zakura? Yeah, he's a little, bit deep. a little bit laboured. We can see with these shots, they don't, they don't have the pop like they did in the first round. Nice jab. Oh, laboured entry on that single leg attempt coming from Zakurov. Yeah. That's 0 3 as well now in this round for Zakurov. Oh, yeah, it's just, he's just so stiff. Really clean shots, managed to land right at the end of his punches. <laughs> what an exciting fight, though. Now, we wondered how that last fight would be topped. This one is hot on its heels. We're definitely getting spoiled here in the ACA. With some of these fights are unfolding in front of us, Brian. Oh, and again, big knee coming in from Lima as well. Nice, that's a better entry from Takorov. Can he complete it? Lima with urgency to the fence, back to his feet. That's great defense, but if you also want to just look at the like, damage within this round, Lima does look he's got one single mark on that. He's made out of granite, Brad. I've got no idea how he's not got a mark on him. He took huge shots in exactly, round one. Exactly that. You, you think that Zakorov has landed, but like, Zakorov has landed some really good shots, but he's just not even showing a single mark. And you see Zakorov, it looks like he's been hit by a truck. Oh, oh God. He's dropped and rolled. Kept looking for that stepping elbow. Yeah, but I think he got clipped on, on the way in when he did that, or he lost his balance. Well, round two has certainly changed the tide. Round one, it was the output we, we were crediting for Zakurov. And you see, man, he's having trouble getting back to his feet at the end of that round. Yeah, his team have helped him back. This fight is taking out a lot out of Sakurov. No, well, uh, well, both of them, I mean. Uh, as in, not oh. just, no, sorry, not just that round. I mean, I mean, not just the fight, just that round, that yes. second round has taken a lot out of him. And it, it's the damage that he's causing. Look at these cleans. There's the right hand that dropped him. Bang! And you see Lima kind of walks him down from there. But there is five more minutes to play with him. You feel like anything can happen in this fight. We've seen a crazy turnaround in round two. What will round three bring us? I'm not a judge by it, but I'm going to put that as a round of peace coming into the third and final round. But for me now, it's for all for Zakor to, to make, turn that tide of that second round. He came out strong in the first round. I believe he won it. And, and then it was just up. We were talking about Zakor up in it again, but it was Lima that up there yeah. again within that second round. Now, can Zakorov turn the tide once more? We will find out. Five minutes left in what has been an epic battle so far. Zakorov in the red corner, Lima in the blue. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett on the edge of our seats. Pretty round. Bated breath as we wait and see what will happen next. The right hand of Lima once again connects with that already damaged eye of Zakurov. The thing with Lima, he doesn't look too tired. He, 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 he must be, because this bait is... Yeah, I, just, I would never play him at poker, ever. <laughs> he's been hit, beaten, walked down. That He's not shown a different expression whatsoever in any of those different... Yeah, I mean, like, we talk about the, the, the walkout, how what an emotional walkout it was with the music, but he showed zero emotion on his face, and he, it's still the same emotion as well throughout this whole fight. Takura trying to close that distance every time he comes in, though, he's met 
by either a jab or a strike. That right hand of Lima. Now a nice high kick there from Zakorov. Look at the damage on the left side of his face, Brad. Yeah, that the orbital bone could be broken there. Oh! And what's, what's Zakorov's doing now as well, Obi? He's taking his eyes off Lima, which is not good. He's rolling too much, and he's not sometimes not looking at the impact. And when you get hit by a shot you don't see, is the ones who do a lot more damage. Well, at the moment, also everything he's landing is doing damage, to be honest with Lima. But both of them got, both of them got realized that this fight's still there to win, but both of them... It's going to be a case of who wants it more in this third and final round, in my eyes. Yeah, and it's Zakurov now putting the pressure on, but look at those stiff shots again from Lima as he gets into range. That jab's still solid, nice high kick, just touches the beard there. Well, respect will have been earned between these two, for sure. They are leaving a little bit of themselves in there. Leaving it all in there for the fans as well. This shows how much they want it, how much it means. Oh, another stiff shot. Just landing, he's that right eye, he's oh. First time we've seen Lima wobbled. Now Zakura putting the pressure on. Oh! oh! Lima with a knockout! He gets rocked and he delivers a right hand from nowhere. It was actually a one-two by him. Both landed. It was a stiff jab followed up with that one-two. Bam, wow. bam. And that is all she wrote. And then she walked, just walked off. What a finish. And also, Brian, to be fair, what a fight. That For me, that has been fire of the night. And that, uh, to say that... <laughs> After we just watched Tesha Boev and Gordiev go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. My goodness, what a sport this is. For the first time, for the first time in this whole ACA run in three fights, we saw Lima wobble. The legs went wobbly. He was doing a little bit of the chicken dance. Zakurov tried to capitalize on that, stepped in. Then Lima planted his feet, and like you said, the one two. Talk us through this, Brad. Uh, this is where Zakurov thought he had him hurt, but he did have him hurt, and he came charging forward, but then he left himself a little bit exposed there. Here, as he stumbled back, this stiff one two. Both landed. Oh, Bam. Lightning. And that's all she wrote. Lightning stuff, devastating stuff from the Brazilian. Oh. Uh, and, and yet again. <laughs> We don't need judges here at ACA at the moment. They're, they're, they're going to be out of a job with these fights here tonight. There's, there's some emotion for the first time in the cage and out of it, I have to say. Lima showing us what that means. Speechless, Brad, which is not much of a good trait as a commentator. <laughs> but yeah. they, they all they have done is all we need to see. What a brilliant performance, and they're going to take Zakurov straight back at the back. But let's give the man his moment. Let's hand it to the MC. Итак, дамы и господа, рефери боя Максим Протасов остановил поединок через 2 минуты 36 секунд третьего раунда. Победу нокаутом одержал палач из Бразилии Элисмар Караско Лима. Синий угол.